everybody. Let's talk about some circuit analysis techniques using equivalent transformations. For example, like if you have this circuit where you want to find the equivalent resistance across this current source. Can do, right? Because look, these two are in parallel. So then you can replace this one, right, these two, which is one in parallel, and then these two are in parallel, so you could replace those two with a single, then the 180 is still here, right, and then from here, these two are in series, and then those in parallel, got it. This one, like, these two are in parallel, right, so you replace it with that, these three are in parallel, so I'll replace it with a single equivalent, and then the 90k here, right? And then now all three of these in series. No problem, right? How about a circuit like this? What's in series? What's in parallel? Mm, we're kind of stuck, right? So we need a new technique, and that's where we have what's called this delta to y transformation. So if you have a circuit in this triangular geometry, so delta, right, delta is a triangle, right? So that's why we call it delta. And this looks like the letter y. So that's why this is called delta to y. And just note that, see how there's node A, B, C? Those nodes don't move. The resistor is connecting the nodes. You can change them back and forth at will, and they're equivalent. As far as nodes A, B, and C are concerned, they, these nodes don't care what's going on kinda between them. Okay, and then you, you, know, you don't have to memorize this, you just look it up as you need it. So let me borrow this picture and get back to this circuit. Okay, so do you see where we can kind of swap out a delta for a y or a y for a delta? Like it looks like, here look, a, b, c. Looks just like this. So that means, let me just kind of try it real fast, a, b, C. Let me fill in the rest of it. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these three and replace it with this. Okay, so that looks like this, where this is R3 R2, R1. Right, so I replaced this delta with this y. And then now see if you can find the equivalent resistance. You can, right? Because look, these two in series, these two in series, and then you combine those in parallel, and then you have basically what looks like this. Right, and then combine all that in series, and then you got it. Okay, let's try another one. I'm gonna drag this down. Okay, here, do you see any delta or y? There's maybe a couple of them, right? Because, like, this looks like a, a y, or like, uh, this looks like a delta, or this looks like a delta. So we have a few possibilities, right? So there's more than one way to do it for sure. Let's see, how about we go with the... Uh, how about here, A, B, C. 
like this A, B, and C. So then we replace these three delta with a Y like this. There. Where this was R1, R2, R3. Okay, and then now you could get the equivalent resistance of this, right? Like these, these two are in series, these two are in series, combine those in parallel, right? Then you got it. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so like I already see like these three are a delta, like this. Maybe we did a couple of deltas already, right? So how about these three are a y? So maybe let's replace that with a delta. So it looks more like... That's the 15. And then... Okay, so I'm going to replace, I'll call this A, B, C, A, B, C, and that's this one. So I'll replace this Y with a delta. So then it'll look like this, where this is R, C, R, a, R, B. Okay, and then can you get the equivalent resistance of this? Yes. The, these two are in parallel. The 15 and the RC are in parallel. And then there is, oh, there should be a 50 over here. These two are in parallel, the 50 and the RA. And then the only thing left is RB, which instead of drawing it diagonally, I'll draw it vertically like this. This is the RB one, right? And then now you can totally write these two in series and combine these in parallel and got it. Okay, so try this technique out. There's a bunch of problems in the book and then just try going delta to Y or Y to delta and see kind of how you like it. Okay, so just let me know if you have questions. I'll see you on the next video.